Prime Sports Northwest. the Kansas Coliseum in Wichita, Kansas. It's major soccer league action. This evening, the Tacoma Stars visit the Wichita Wings. Hello there, soccer fans. I'm Bob Robertson along with Scott Coleman. And tonight here in Wichita, the Tacoma Stars take on the Wichita Wings. And Scotty, the last time the teams got together here, went overtime, Tacoma winning it. And uh, Wichita, I'm sure, looking for revenge in this one. Oh, well, definitely. I mean, you know, the last game. 7-6 was the final in overtime. Wichita needs to win at home. They're real close to Baltimore coming back, vying for that last spot in the playoffs. And I think if they can win some at home, they got a good shot at making that last playoff spot in the East. I guess before we even get down to soccer, we say congratulations to Mr. and Mrs. Ralph Black, who welcome a new arrival into the family, right? Yeah, had a baby boy just this morning. Um, we haven't got a hold of Ralph to find out what he's named him yet, but we're figuring maybe if the uh, guy who scores a game-winning goal tonight, maybe he'll name him after that. I thought Ralph might fly in without an airplane this afternoon to play in tonight's match. <laughs> I, don't, <laughs> I don't know. Scott, what about Wichita? Uh, here's a team that uh, has changed coaches. Uh, Roy Turner now heading up the team. Can they make the playoffs, in your opinion? I think so. Uh, the biggest battle right now for them is to get over their injuries. Um, they're missing their two goalkeepers. they got Cliff Brown signed in, a local boy from Stadium High School, went to the University of Washington. I think maybe if they can, uh, you know, just stay healthy with what they have left. They got a good shot. Baltimore's slipping a little bit in the East right now, so. What about the Stars? Can the Stars catch up to the two ahead of them? Can they hold off the one behind them? Where do we stand? Well, I think they got a big enough lead to lock up that third place spot. Um, four games back, sure, they got a viable chance still at first place. Uh, San Diego's tough to catch. St. Louis has got some good talent, but I think we can do it. I think they can come up. Well, Keith Weller says one of the keys for the Tacoma Stars tonight is to just keep on running, keep on working, and try to wear out the Wichita Wings here in Wichita, Kansas. We'll see if the Stars can do that. And Scott Coleman and I bring you the action play-by-play -play on our simulcast tonight from the Kansas Coliseum. So it is major soccer league action coming up. It's the Tacoma Stars and the Wichita Wings. Stay tuned. All the action coming to you right after timeout on this Tacoma Stars soccer simulcast. MSL Soccer on Prime Sports Northwest is brought to you by Rainier Beer. Around here, it's Rainier. And by True Value Hardware Stores. Got a tough job to do? You can do it with True Value Hardware Stores. Tacoma goal scored by number seven, Mark Carpen. Credit the assist to number six, Bill Crook. Time of the goal, 40 seconds of the first period. Big Wichita Wings, thank you to Boardwalk Subs for providing food for the media tonight. Boardwalk Subs, 
located at 2929 North Rock Road. Call in and have your order ready at 636-4050. the ball long one downfield now headed back out of there taken by the Tacoma Stars in midfield Carp uh, Medved ran onto that ball couldn't get it Medved had it stripped away taken away by the Wichita Wings they'll play it with Terry Rowe on the ball over to the left hand side and down into the left hand corner goes Wichita again back out into midfield now to Dale Irvine Irvine the tall forward will play the ball Irvine over on the right hand side Gets the ball over and out in the uh, defensive zone to Steve Pittman. The Stars lead 1-0 on the early goal by Mark Carpenter at 40 seconds from Billy Crook, who heads the ball back to the glass to his own goalkeeper, Chris Vaccaro. Vaccaro will hook it on out of there now. Now up along the left-hand boards. Ball taken by the Wichita Wings, David Byrne. And Byrne will play it back, gets it back again in the middle in front of his own red line. Up the right side it comes. Got the ball forward that time to Omar Gomez. Gomez down the right-hand side. A quick pass going this time forward to Brad Smith. Smith down in the corner to Gomez. A pass in the middle intercepted by Medved. Sean out on the left side to Steve Kinsey. Here's Kinsey up over the center line, but a run off from behind that time by Brad Smith, a hard-working defender who can go forward as well. Ball in midfield controlled once again by the Wichita Wings, taken by Steve Pittman, and they'll play it all the way back now to Terry Rowe. Rowe, the defender, drops a pass off at the back and then leaves the field in a change of players, and Eddie Radwanski is on again for the Tacoma Stars. Ball goes forward to Brad Smith, battling back there with Neil Mixon. Mixon forcing him back into the midfield area. Ball to Marrera, then over on the right-hand side it goes to David Byrne. Byrne playing in the red shoes tonight, works the ball forward. Byrne pushing the ball, and now we have a collision, and down goes one one of the Wichita players, that's Brad Smith, Megson, and Smith battling back there out just outside the penalty area. And Smith wound up down on the turf, and Megson is going off. So Meggie will get a penalty, probably for rough play, as Smith went down, all doubled over, and Megson immediately leaves, and so the Wichita wings will now go to the power play. Wichita has scored seven power play goals and 15 attempts against the Tacoma Stars this year. So they've had great success against Tacoma on the power play. Wichita ready for their power play now. And Scott, the Stars will have to build that wall and try to defend here and hold on to that one goal lead. Well, Tacoma's going to have to bank on their defensive skills here to kill this power play. Wichita's got a very lethal offensive team. Here's the, uh, the restart. The ball drilled off the two-man wall and then bounces all the way down the field off the boards. Makes an unsportsmanlike conduct and got a yellow card also for the severity of it up. Rolls it out of the right side. Power play for the Wichita Wings, but Scotty had looked there for a moment like the Stars had the power play. Well, I don't know. You know, Wichita's got a press on a power play like that, and Eddie just took the ball down and was able to sit down in the end for a while, and it really helped him out. Billy Cook knocks it away to midfield now. Urban winds up with it again to the red line. Down the right side goes the pass. Got the ball along the boards to David Byrne. Cross field is a drive. One handed stop leaping by Chris Vaccaro as he went up to stop that drive by Pittman. Long throw to a breaking Megson going in. Penalty area shot. Score! Neil Megson with Vaccaro getting the assist and the Stars a short handed goal to lead two to nothing. The Stars take a 2-0 lead. It was Neil Megson who has missed so much of the season with an injured knee. He's been on the sidelines, and goalkeeper Chris Vaccaro picks up the, the assist on a long throw into open space down the field. Perfect throw, wasn't it? Yeah, Vaccaro's got a rifle. I think he's probably got the best arm in the league, and Megson coming right out of the box just took advantage of it, scored a goal. That's Vaccaro's third assist of the season. Now well, we got a timeout on the playing field here at Wichita, Kansas. Now Chris Vaccaro just barely put that ball in safety territory in front of the red line just where he had to do it and Megson just ran on and took the ball in and had Brown 
Dave's mercy as he drilled that ball from just outside the penalty area. We have a timeout on the field. The score of the Tacoma Stars, two Wichita wins, nothing, and we take timeout on this Tacoma Stars soccer simulcast. Gary Heal coming on for Tacoma, and the ball will be spotted over in front of the bench area now by Mickey Ristick. Stars will have the ball to kick into play. Two to nothing, Tacoma leading. We have 9.54 to go in the first period of this game in Wichita. Here's the ball down the right side now, kicked by Willie Milano. The gate was still open, so we're going to go back and redo it. The gate was open, and one of the advertising signs is pulled loose right at that spot as well. Here's the ball played back down to Ristick. Milano back to Ristick in the center circle, chips the ball forward down the left side for Gary Heal. Heal tries to head it forward, is driven away from there, kicked out by Vincent Beck, the defender, back into the Tacoma end of the field. Back after it goes Ristick, back to Vaccaro. Vaccaro, the goalkeeper, off the left boards, out in front. There's a drive back and a diving stop going to his left Vaccaro to steer that ball away. Ball out in front of the score from the right side by Chico Borja. Borja scores as he picked up the loose ball as it caromed out from the penalty area. And Borja with a right foot drove that ball back into the roof of the net. He didn't have much extra space that time, Scott, but he picked the roof. Here you see Chico just picking one up off the boards. On a half volley, right foot blasted off the top of the post and straight down and in. Well, he did. He just ran right up onto that ball. And that one came at the five minute and 30 second mark and makes it a two to one game in the first period in favor of the Tacoma Stars. Gary Hill with the ball forward, shot that is just wide as Brown went diving and then played the carom off the boards. Bunyak will get an assist on that goal. He was the player who got a piece of the ball coming off the boards and got it back out to Borja for the score. Bunyak with his sixth point already since coming back from... All right, back here in Wichita once again as the fans in Wichita are getting a look at the Mike Stankovich punch on Steve Kinsey. And uh, they're looking forward to that because, of course, that means that Stankovic with the red card gets to miss a game. And uh, that's important to the Wichita folks. For the most complete coverage of Pac-10 basketball action, turn to Prime Sports Northwest. Saturday live at 7.30. Catch the Arizona Wildcats as they team up against the Oregon Ducks. That's Saturday on Prime Sports Northwest. Game coming to you on Prime Sports Northwest and also on radio on AM 85, KTAC in Tacoma. Our simulcast of the Tacoma Stars at Wichita. Shots on goal so far. Wichita has seven. Tacoma has three in this match. Stars lead the game by a score of two to one with two early goals by Carpen and Megson. Here's the ball to Steve Kinsey up the left boards. Pushes it back to Milano. Willie now drops it back to Bill Crook. Crook along the right-hand boards for Freddie Thompson. Ball knocked away from him by Vincent Beck in midfield. Herrera got it over on the left-hand side. Now it goes. Dale Irvine. Irvine long ball down the left-hand side. Billy Crook got there and hammered that ball down the field. Boy, he really hit that one, Scotty. Put a flat side on it, I think. <laughs> I think he's just trying to get it out of his zone and reset up again. Take a little of the pressure off. Here comes Wichita right back. Long ball against the boards now. Headed goalward off the glass by Irvine that time. Ball is loose as Crook knocked it away. Picked up by Milano. Stars three on two. Got, a, got the numbers now as they come to the attack. Milano over the red line. A shot. Diving save by Cliff Brown going to his left. Good save by the Stadium High of Tacoma graduate. Brown going to his left to make the left-handed save. Stars with the ball right back in midfield. Milano over the red line. Turns it in toward the middle. Ducked around one. Two men. Back out to Billy Crook. Over to the right side, it goes meant for Freddie Thompson, but Milano, continuing his run, came back and gathered that ball. 2.44 to go first half, or first quarter, rather, 2-1 to one in favor of Tacoma. Milano in the center circle, back to Billy Crook. Crook drives it down the left boards now, cut off at the red line, taken by Chico Morera. Morera for the Wichita Wings, run off the ball by Steve Kinsey. Kinsey back to Freddie Thompson. Thompson scoops it over to Crook on the left side, squares it off to him. Here's Greg Ion on now. The ball goes forward to Carpen. Carpen knocks it back to Kinsey on the left boards. That got away from him. Irvine after the ball, plays it on back now to Pittman. And Wichita once again has control out to Byrne. David Byrne to Omar Gomez. They'll go back toward the goalkeeper again, cut off in front of Cliff Brown by Pittman. Long ball down the right side now, looking for Smith. He's beaten to the ball by Radwanski. Back to Vaccaro. Smith goes sliding into him in the penalty area, but Vaccaro covers the ball. So Chris Vaccaro for the Stars up with the ball. Inside, two minutes to go in the first quarter. Stars lead 2-1 to one here in Wichita. Ball to midfield, Greg Ion. Back to Eddie Radwanski. Now to Vaccaro. Down goes Radwanski. Terry Rowe after Vaccaro. Does a nice dribbling job to bring the ball by him. How about center forward for Chris Vaccaro? Well, I tell you, Vaccaro doesn't come Radwanski now. Radwanski drops it back on the right-hand side for Neil Megson. 
makes it the unpopular, unfavored of the fans here in Wichita for the moment this evening. Has the ball once again, and they boo. Over to Nikki Ristick on the left side. Ristick with 125 to go in the first quarter, two to one stars. Ristick sets it up, chips a pass down along the left boards. Now for Gary Heal. Heal covered by Terry Rowe, trying to get by and can't. We have a foul on Rowe as he slides in hard. And the restart with a free kick goes to the Stars. And Greg Iam along the left touch line, just inside the red line. Down in the left corner to Gary Heal. Heal with Terry Rowe marking. Turns, snaps it off the boards. Went by Brown, but out in front. Taken now by Brad Smith, who is back helping out on defense for the Wichita Wings. Got it away to midfield, Omar Gomez. Gomez on the ball there, plays it on back to Rowe, and we have one minute to go in the period. One minute remaining in the first quarter, two to one stars lead. Wichita's ball, Gomez, back to David Byrne. Byrne over on the left-hand side now. He left off there, Byrne got it again along the left side to Beck. Beck starting to drive forward. His pass intercepted by reliable Greg Ian over on the right side to Ristic. Ristic run off, Marrera got it to Gomez. They tried to play it out in front. Ball loose, here's a shot by David Byrne that's blocked in front. And cleared away by the Stars, taken by Gary Heal. Here's a three-on-one break, and the ball driven downfield as Pittman went sliding into the ball, and it went way up into the crowd. And Pittman is down, maybe hurt. Nicky Ristic slow getting up, but is up. Pittman was the one defender back against three Stars coming downfield. They let the ball get a little far out in front. Pittman got to slide out to the ball, Scotty. And here you see Nicky coming down. Pittman just throws his body out like any good defender would, sacrifice his body to stop that breakaway. And Nicky Ristic, as he went for the ball, as the ball was cleared away, he got a piece of the ball, drove it up into the stands, but he stepped on Pittman's ankle. He stepped on it is what happened. The television replay showing is that. Though so Pittman with a sore ankle, the trainer is out to take a look. And we'll find out momentarily if he's going to be all right to continue or not. Where Pittman is down as he suffered a severely tormented ankle at the moment. And Pittman is still down out there in the middle of the field with no indication yet whether there's any damage. The trainer being very careful to check ligaments and all. And Roy Turner, the coach out now, Sands jacket. They also kneel down and take a look as Pittman sits up here on the artificial surface. Tacoma Stars, remember, will be coming back home for three games on the 12th, 15th, and 16th. We hope you'll be there for all of those. You can join your Tacoma Stars for a weeknight special. All general admission tickets are only $3 on Tuesday, March 12th, against the Baltimore Blast. That's March 12th, $3 general admission tickets against the Baltimore Blast. And on the 16th, don't forget that Preki and the St. Louis Storm will come to visit. That's on March 16th for MetLife Cap Night. First 4,000 fans receive an embroidered Stars cap courtesy of MetLife. That is on March the 16th at the Tacoma Dome. So that's where we stand right now. The injured player is up and apparently going to get off under his own power. He's, he's okay. I would expect that we will see him again tonight. As Pittman limping a little bit goes off under the guidance of the team trainer. Two to one, the Stars lead. 28 seconds remain to play in the first half. It'll be Wichita's ball to put in play back in front of the goal. Cliff Brown got it away, and Beck drives it down the field. Goes into the corner. Irvine after it there, covered by Billy Crook. Back out it goes down the left side to Borja. Chico dances it down into the corner. Got it reverse. Lob it out front. Side volley and a diving stop by Vaccaro as Marrera hit a right-footed side volley. Long throw beyond midfield by Vaccaro again. Goes down the field, kicked right back by Wichita. And then Neil Megson hammers it away to midfield. His time runs out in the quarter. And at the end of the first period, the score, the Tacoma Stars 2, <coughs> excuse me, the Tacoma Stars 2, and the Wichita Wings 1. That's at the end of one period here in Wichita. Mr. Ristic, Ristic back to the keeper. Chris Vaccaro at his own red line. Long right-footed kick down the left side for Gary Heal. Got a bump down there from Vincent Beck. Beck beat Heal to the ball. Got it back to Brown. And the goalkeeper will play it out of there. Two to one. The Tacoma Stars lead. 4-12 to go in the first half. Brown the kick to midfield. Waiting there is Runyak. Runyak back to Irvine. Irvine on the center line right side. Head along the boards to Bora. Bora watched by Freddie Thompson. Brings it in along the red line. Trying to find room for a shot to Hunyak. Shot score! Hunyak scores and Borja gets the assist. Here comes Borja. He just passes one right across the middle over to the left side to Hunyak. Hunyak looks like it goes right through the legs 
into the far post and pass for Carl for a goal. Willie Milano came across. That ball sort of nutmegged him on the way through, but he was coming across hard. The ball was a little bit back behind him, and he just simply couldn't get back. Neither could Chris Vaccaro, and the spray of light goes on here. Hunyak gets his fourth goal. Borja the assist. 11.02 the time, and we are tied at two apiece here in Wichita. The Goma Stars, Wichita Wings, and we have a timeout now on the playing field with a score tied at two all, and we take timeout on this Tacoma Stars soccer side. Tomic red line tried to pass back, intercepted, and Wichita takes the ball away. Back up the left side comes Ian Fairbrother. Over the center line, Fairbrother got the pass ahead to Byrne. Byrne back to Terry Rowe. Rowe at the back of the center circle. Here he comes, racing forward on the ball now, drives it, goal, and score! Borja! Borja ran right across in front and deflected that ball into the goal, and Wichita takes a 3-2 lead with 3.24 to go in the period. Terry Rowe drove that ball toward the goal, straight on, would have been an easy save for Vaccaro. Borja ran right across in front and checked and tipped it in. Well, here's Rowe coming up from the midfield, just inside the midfield, he puts a good line shot. Borja comes flying across the mouth of the goal, redirects it right past Chris Vaccaro. Got that right foot up and just got a little piece of that ball. And at 11.36, scores. Goals come 34 seconds apart. Number 25 for Chico Borja, his second of this game. Roll the assist. And the Stars restart, now down a goal as Wichita has come from 2-0 down to take a 3-2 lead. Here comes Omar Gomez over the center line. Beats the ball down the left side of Billy Cook. Broke out of there to knock it away to midfield. Ball back in midfield, got by Fairbrother, but Rowe picks it up away from Gary Heal. Rowe to the left board, Heal coming after him. Rowe turns, drives the ball down the right side, cross field pass, Carpen broke that one up back for Mixon. Carpen finally came back in and got a hold of it again to Billy Crook. Now out to Carpen, running out on the right side. Carpen ahead in midfield, going to be broken up at the defensive line by Fairbrother again. Out to Terry Rowe, Gary Heal pushes him off the ball along the boards, out in front for Carpen, but he couldn't get a shot in the penalty area. And it's cleared away, back into the box, it goes now, and kicked out of there by David Byrne, he'll put it up into the crowd over the glass. Two minutes and 35 seconds remaining to play in the first half. 2.35 to go. And Wichita, down 2 nothing in the first five minutes of the game, now has a 3-2 lead over the Tacoma Stars. Both teams making changes. Wichita here making wholesale change. They're changing in fives right now. Most coaches don't like to change that many at a time, do they? Well, Wichita's playing hard right now, and they don't have too many players. They don't want to wear themselves out. They're trying to pace themselves for the rest of the game. It was one of Keith Weller's stated tenets in this ball game was to try to run Wichita to make him tired. There's Gary Heel down the right side, tried to get the ball out in front. It's broken up now, taken away by Borja, then back by Mixon, but he lost it. And here comes Wichita out on the attack again. Ball up the field, then for Morera, cleared away by Mixon, kicked down the field by Billy Crook. Stars changing on the go. Forward now comes Irvine, down the left side for Borja with two goals in the game. Borja out on the left wing. Going to bring the ball out to the red line. Back heel pass. Left side for Vincent Beck. Down in the corner. Drives it around the boards. Gathered up there by Vaccaro. Borja tried to head the ball out of his arms. Vaccaro rolls the ball out on the right side. Borja ran at him like a little bull that time in the Mexican bull ring. He tried to head the ball out of the goalkeeper's arms. And couldn't get it. Here's the ball downfield again for Irvine. Irvine battling Billy Crook. Down they go. We're going to get a foul call on the play on this one. Pretty good physical matchup between Billy Crook from Kent. Neil Irvine. Ball spotted and Borja will restart. Chico down along the right side of the penalty area. Got in front of Irvine. Turns. Snapped the shot off the goal post just wide. Irvine almost made it 4-2 to two as he was just inches wide and hit the goal post. Throw to midfield by Vaccaro. Intercepted. Brought back by Morera. Morera drives it out in front. Irvine got under that one. Put it over the top of the goal. Over the glass and out of play. Dale Irvine was right there in front and could not get that ball in. And once again, a two, Scott, two very quick plays in succession, almost two goals for Wichita. Well, both teams are playing real well right now, Bob, but Wichita's just out hustling them. They're making some good plays and just unfortunate there for Dale Irvine. Ball spotted by Chris Vaccaro for the goal kick with one minute and 27 seconds remaining to play here. Stars will leave about midday tomorrow and move over to St. Louis for their Sunday game, which you will hear on radio only in Tacoma and the Tacoma area on AM 85 KTAC starting at 1.05, our broadcast on Sunday afternoon. 
Nicky Ristick works the ball out to the red line for the Stars. Kicks the ball long downfield. Heads go up. Ball knocked back to midfield. Milano got it there to Carpen. Back it goes to Ristick. Ristick now drives the ball across field to the right to Kinsey. Kinsey in the midfield area. Back right side to Freddie Thompson near the center line. Thompson up to Kinsey again over to Milano. Going to get double team. Burn comes after him. One minute to go now in the first half. Three to two, Wichita. Down the left side to Kinsey. Ball knocked away, but he got it back. Down goes Kinsey and a foul on Terry Rowe. Steve Kinsey with the stitches about due to come out of that left eyebrow from where he was punched in the Baltimore game. Milano starts the play to Carpen, tried to drive it in. Byrne blocked it. Carpen got it back. Out it goes to Milano. Milano just inside the red line. Down the left side he goes against Dale Irvine. Irvine keeping him at long range out along the boards. Way back in midfield to Ristic again. Here's Ristic ahead. It goes blocked by Byrne and sent on back to the goalkeeper now. Picked up there by Cliff Brown. Brown, the goalkeeper for the Wichita Wings. Got it out to Fairbrother to row back to Brown. 23 seconds, 22, 21 to go in the first half. 3-2 Wichita. Ahead to Kinsey now. Kinsey picks it to Ristic. Ristic picks it up. Now to Kinsey. Kinsey in front of his own red line. Up the right boards it goes for Mark Carpen. Knocked right back by Wichita with eight seconds left. Kinsey again runs out of that ball, playing at the back. Ahead to Carpen, going to have to hurry to get a shot. Freddie Thompson chips it down the field with a ball in the air. The horn sounds. That's the end of the first half. At the end of the half here in Wichita, the score. Wichita wings three. The Tacoma Stars two. And we will take a two-minute timeout. Back to summarize it after a two-minute timeout on your Tacoma Stars soccer. Well, here at halftime in Wichita, Kansas, we get an opportunity to talk with Roy Turner, who has been president of the Wichita Wing Soccer Club in the early part of the year and now finds himself the coach of the team. As a matter of fact, Roy, you took over for a game earlier this year against the Tacoma Stars, didn't you? Right. My first one back was against this very Tacoma Stars, and, uh, you know, with the five minutes to go, I was feeling pretty good. But then, of course, the sixth attacker, it's history now. They came back and won in overtime, but that was my first, that was my first game of the year as a coach. Well, of course, indoor soccer really is that way. I, nothing seems to be secure in the way of a lead, does it? Well, I think it's one of the nicer rules in the game. Uh, you know, fans don't leave the game early, and uh, it's like probably the three-point shot in basketball. I mean, it, always something is p likely to happen. I mean, especially when the teams take risks and pulling the goalkeepers and that. Often fans say, well, they're so good when they pull the goalkeeper. Why don't they do it the whole damn game, you know? But that's not the way coaches are made up. But when we're behind, we try anything, and I think that's what makes it an exciting product. Well, now, when you last coached, of course, um, things were a little bit different. Goals were smaller, and some of the rules were different. Did you have some adapting to do when you came back to the field, to the bench? Yeah, I, I certainly did. In fact, the last game I ever coached is also in, in Tacoma, in 20,000 people when we got beaten in the playoffs. So Tacoma uh, was my farewell and my welcome. But uh, since I've come back, I, I noticed that this game's intensity level. I used to think it was intense years ago, but it's just tre tremendous, the effort that's going put forth on the field right now. It's uh, it's hard to penetrate defenses. It's hard to put the ball in the goal, even though the bigger. And uh, the strategy of the game changed tremendously. I think the coach in this league is far superior, and uh, it's a very difficult game indeed to be successful. The balance in the league seems to be almost amazing. You know, these athletes we've got, I mean, whether you've got the superstars or whether you've got the uh, blue college workers, like everybody classifies them in our league, it's... Uh, these guys can give so much, and I think over the course of the year, they all give that 100%. And so if a coach can get it out of them at different times, so to speak, you're going to get this balance. I don't think anybody in this league can stand up right now and say, that team's going to win the championship. That was the way it was when I coached. It was a San Diego team, and you said, well, who's going to be running up? That no longer exists in this league. It can, any team can beat anybody on any given night, which makes for more exciting product, but also makes the hair go a little bit gray on top. <laughs> I think I understand the feeling. <laughs> uh, if, you have, if you were put on the spot, if I got you on the spot right now, so who's going to win the two divisions, uh, who's going to play in the championship final, what teams would you pick? Well, I don't offend uh, my friends back in Tacoma, but I think the two best teams, uh, three best teams right now, is St. Louis, San Diego, and Cleveland in our division. So at the, that's because at this current moment, they are the hottest. But that doesn't say that we all can't turn it around just like to come with the hottest team in the league at the beginning of the year. That can happen again, such as the MSL these days. Where does your club fit in? Well, we're, we're scrambling like crazy to even get back in contention. And, um, you know, we're getting a little assistance from the teams in our league, losing games. So we're going to strive. Our goal is obviously to get back in the playoffs. But really, I'm not discussing that in the locker room. I'm talking about one game at a time. Uh, we've won the last three out of four games, and uh, we're pleased with the way the club's playing, but it might be uh, just a little bit late in the day to be able to talk about playoffs. 
aside from the playoffs, going even beyond that, what's your feeling about the future of indoor soccer in the major soccer league? Well, a lot depends on what we're going to do with these budgets. Everybody knows of the vast amounts of money that people are putting into this thing. It's a wonderful product. Um, there's some apathy, and we've created a lot of it ourselves. What would the... There's going to be a league, there isn't going to be a league. The players' union problems. We have the meeting every summer, and the public have just gotten a little tired of it. And I think what we have to do is come up with numbers that make sense to owners to go forward, and then keep the product at the level it's at right now, and I think eventually the future is very bright. But the numbers have never made sense in this game, and we've all been banging our heads against the brick wall because the numbers have never... It doesn't matter, even when you had your 20,000 crowds in Tacoma, it didn't make sense financially. So it's got to make sense financially. And when that happens, I think you're going to see this game take off in leaps and bounds because the product, most people will tell you, is just a wonderful. Roy, thank you very much. Good luck to you. Thank you, Bob. All right, thank you very much. Roy Turner, now the coach as well as the president of the Wichita Wings with the Major Soccer League. We'll be back with more of our halftime after we take time out on this Tacoma Stars Soccer Simon. And welcome back to the television portion of our simulcast at halftime. And once again for the TV folks, uh, the score, the Wichita Wings 3, the Tacoma Stars 2, after the Stars had taken an early lead of 2 to nothing in this game. The early goals for the Tacoma Stars in this matchup against Wichita came 40 seconds in. Mark Harpin from Billy Crook. Neil Megson then scored on a long throw down the field by Chris Vaccaro. Megson ran on in the open and scored at 4.54. That was a shorthanded goal for the Tacoma Stars. And then Borja came back and got one just a few seconds later with Megson off at 5.30. Borja scored uh, from Hunyak at 5 minutes and 30 seconds to make it 2-1. It stayed that way until the 11.02 mark of the second quarter. Hunyak then scored from Borja. And Borja got his second goal, his third point, 24 sec or 34 seconds later at 11.36. Scored his 25th goal of the year from Terry Rowe on a redirection of a shot by Rowe from out in front. And that made it three to two. That was the go-ahead goal for the Wichita Wings. And they lead by a three to two score now as we get ready for the second half of action. Scott Coleman, the public relations director, media director for the Tacoma Stars alongside here in Wichita. Scotty, uh, your impressions, if you will, of a road trip with the Tacoma Stars. Well, I tell you, I just got in today about 4 o'clock, and I don't know, I mean, I'm just tired. I can't see how these guys can keep up on a road trip playing these games. I'm tired just going on the plane. Ah, uh, just wait. You still have to get home and be <laughs> alert and ready to go back to work again. Yeah, I know it. This, this, you see, is what takes guys your age and makes people my age out of them without going through all those years. You compress the whole thing, eh? So as we get uh, ready to resume here, the teams are back out on the field for the television audience getting a look at Hunyak's goal from Borja. This was the second the tying goal for the Wichita Wings that the TV folks are looking at right now as Wichita got two in the second period. And Hunyak was the one who got the goal to tie the game. Hunyak, not a name you're familiar with, Goran Hunyak. He was out early this year. Then came the go-ahead goal as Rowe drove the ball right on goal. The keeper, Chris Vaccaro, had it all lined up ready. And across from left to right came Chico Borja and got his right foot up into the path of the ball, deflected it just enough to put it in. And once again, the goalkeeper saves five by Vaccaro and three by Cliff Brown as we get ready to start the second half with a score three to two in favor of Wichita. And there goes the cotton candy, all multicolored and delicious looking. Scott, do you want to... Take a cotton candy break. Go ahead. It's right there. Roy <laughs> Turner getting his team ready. He got rid of his jacket a long, long time ago in this matchup. He got it off, and he's working shirt sleeves and neckties the way he's going right now. Officials Templin, Silva, and Geegan here tonight. Templin, the senior referee. Herb Silva is the referee. Those two on the field, and Geegan works in the box. So I guess we are ready to go. Keith Weller with his jacket still on through the gate to the Tacoma Stars bench. Stars gates are still open. Wichita gates have closed. Stars will put the ball in play, and we're about to get underway in the second half. 3-2 to two, Wichita leading, and here we go. Billy Crook to Megson. Long ball downfield, headed right back from the midfield area, and Wichita has it. Burned down the left side to Brad Smith. 
Back out to David Byrne. Red Shoes has the ball, drops it back now. Got it back to Vincent Beck, now to Terry Rowe. Over to Fairbrothers, squaring it over. Goes out along the left side, all the way back into the Tacoma Stars end. Back after it goes Greg Ion. Ion, 54 seconds remaining in the power play now, ahead to Willie Milano. Here's Milano, up over the center strike. Stars have not done particularly well in power plays against the Wichita Wings this year. In 3 of 12, here's the ball. Crook a shot, score by Gary Heal right in front. Crook got the shot from the right corner, and Gary Heal was there to bang home the rebound as Cliff Brown stopped that one coming out of the right corner from Billy Crook. Crook gets his second assist of the game. Gary Heal at the 2 minute and 30 second mark, a power play goal for the Tacoma Stars to even the match. Brown stopped the initial shot by Crook at the near post. It came right out in front to Gary Heal. And, well, I'll tell you, Scotty, Gary was right on the spot. He always seemed to be that way. He was also the uh, Tacoma Stars leading power play scorer in franchise history. He always knows to be where to be on okay. that. So Gary Heal, who occasionally doesn't shave before matches and takes that fierce look on the field with him, gets his goal. Here's the ball quickly down the field now. Heal getting his 30th goal of the year. down to the left-hand corner. Two men with him, including Gomez, got the ball through, got it back, Medved out in front, back to McCormick, and down he goes and couldn't get a shot. And a foul on Terry Rowe, his second of this second half. And off goes Radwanski on the run. The Stars want to make the defensive runner change. Here comes Gary Heal back on. They get Radwanski off now, as they have a restart right at the top of the penalty arc, the restraining arc. McCormick a run around the arc down to the right goal post. Here's Heel forward, drives a shot, blocked by Brown in front. Good stop. I don't think he even saw that one coming. He blocked it with his legs. Ball back to midfield. Ristic got it back to Vaccaro. All the way back to the Stars end. 3-3 tie game here in the third quarter. 11.52 to go in the third period. Medved run off the ball by Fairbrother, but it comes to midfield to Ristic. Ristic ahead now to McCormick. McCormick up to Kinsey. Slide tackled away by Rowe. Ball goes high in the air down the field into the Tacoma end again. Ristic back. Ristic squares over the Mixon on the left side. Making long ball into the goal mouth. Brown there caught it face. Freddie Thompson comes on. Thompson will take the ball from Vaccaro, waiting for the change to be completed. Billy Cook also will come out. Greg Lyon is on the field. 4.35 remaining to play. Third quarter for Freddie Thompson, challenged by Borja. Back to Vaccaro again. Back to the car. Now the throw to the right side. Billy Crook on a good run. Down the boards it goes. Heel in the right hand corner. Gary Heel with a ball out in front. Wants to get a shot to Thompson. He couldn't get a shot. He's knocked down by Borja. Ball goes back to Cliff Brown. Brown the goalkeeper. Out on the left side to Borja again. As we count down to the four minute mark. Here comes Radwanski on for the Tacoma Stars. Back to the ball goes Borja. Banked it off the boards. Billard shot back to his own goalkeeper. Brown out on the left hand side to Beck. Back to the long ball downfield. Vaccaro up and went over his head. Ball is rolling loose. Irvine after it. Borja there. Nobody can get to it there, and they kick it back to midfield. Stars cleared it away. Taken out of midfield by Beck. Beck sends it forward. Borja. Borja working over to the right side. Got a little push from Lyon. Back now to Hunyak. Hunyak left side to Terry Rowe. Rowe on the left side. Radwanski marking him. Back out to Beck again. Rowe on the left side, down to the corner to Borja in the corner. Borja double team, Smalls goes down, foul on Radwanski. Borja pushes Radwanski down now. Now Eddie comes right back after Borja. Eddie doesn't want to go hands on. Well, Borja got away with a big one that time. Radwanski admittedly fouled him, and then Borja just turned and pushed him away and down. Now that's about as rough as you can do, I think, to get away with it and not have a foul call. Well, I don't think the ref saw that. And here's Herb so Silva calling something. Now his weather's out Yeah, Keith field. Weller is out, and he's boiling hot. He's saying, how could two referees not see that? Keith Weller is just as hot as I have ever seen Keith Weller. Boy, he is pumped up as we take a timeout on the field. 3.21 to go here in the third quarter. 3-3 tie game, Wichita and the Tacoma Stars, and we take timeout on this Tacoma Stars soccer simulcast. Kansas Coliseum in Wichita. Stars and Wichita wins. Here's the ball back to Vaccaro again. We are deadlocked at two apiece. Optimistic on the left side. Now to Vaccaro again. 
And Vicar is going to throw the ball long down the left side. Kinsey after that ball headed it down into the corner, but Fairbrother turned it back toward the goalkeeper. Brown gathers it up. Brown out on the left hand side. There's the long ball downfield now. Racing after that ball goes Omar Gomez. Medved back there with him. Shot score! assisted goal. It came at 13-39. Ball down in the corner. Gomez dug it out and scored. Medved had taken it against the boards. That's why I'd say it may be an unassisted goal for Gomez because Medved and Tacoma had the ball briefly. But whatever, assisted or not, it's a fourth goal in Wichita leads 4-3. Medved just got in the way, never really had it under control. He just got the right foot out and snapped the shot to score. Stars have the ball on the restart from midfield. Out to midfield it goes, headed over the boards by David Byrd. They will give Hunyak an assist on that. Hunyak gets an assist. That's a little bit like that second assist in hockey. It's so often is sort of a figment to somebody's imagination. Hunyak did get the ball downfield, but a Tacoma player had possession briefly against the boards, though it was off a steal. All right, Stars restart. Bristol sends the ball forward into the attacking zone, but Gary Heal couldn't get there. The ball went all the way back to the goalkeeper. Now, wait a minute. We may have a handball call against Wichita. Mark Harpin was indicating that. And it looks as if we do have a handball call against the Wichita Wings spot this ball out on the penalty spot at the top of the restraining arc. It will not be a penalty shot. It will be a free kick. Gary Heal to take it. Here's the shot. Scores! Gary Heal ties the game. Heal on the free kick. He did not do anything very fancy on that one, Scott. He just ran up to the ball and hit it as hard as Gary Heal could hit it. And an unassisted goal by Gary Heal for the Tacoma Stars, his 31st of the year. As Heal scores on the free kick. Heal just punched it right through the line. Brown was blind to the fact. And off the top of the post and down and in. And Brown couldn't catch up with it. 14-05. A free kick. Gary Heal scores it. And the Stars have tied it again at 4-4. It didn't take very long. It took 26 seconds to get the tying goal back. As Heal hammered it in. And now it is Tacoma 4 and Wichita 4 here at the Kansas Coliseum in the final minute of the third quarter. There we go, Wichita with the ball, Borja in midfield. Back to Fairbrother, now back to the goalkeeper, Brown. Brown drives it along the left side of, into midfield and beyond to the red line. Borja down the boards, chesting it on through. Mexican waiting there, tried to not make it by. Mexican got it up against the boards, out in front, loose ball, comes all the way across in front. Picked up now by Irvine, and a foul called on Irvine. A boarding foul. up against the boards and the ball belongs to the Tacoma Stars 30 seconds remain in the third quarter Billy Cook will restart back in his own end of the field Cook long ball looking for Sean Medved heads the ball up in the air and over the glass and out of play Medved and Chico Marrera going up together that ball went over the top took four seconds off the clock and now Wichita has the ball but it was a good thought to get it down there to the tall youngster and let him try to get up and head it in, wasn't it? Well, I tell you, Medved's having a great season right now. I'm sure anything you can get to him, we'll give him a shot. I'm going to spot that ball in the corner. They're going to call it a corner kick. The Stars, apparently Morera, was the last man to touch it as he and Medved battled for the ball. So the Stars with Greg Ion for the restart in the left corner on a corner kick. Greg Ion for the restart. Sports Northwest and AM85 KTAC in Tacoma on the simulcast tonight. On Sports Northwest Television, KTAC Radio. I am ready now for the start of the runs. Thompson spins across in front of the goal line. Ball out to Billy Cook. Shot hard off the boards. Bounces all the way back out to the red line. Cook got it again. It was winding it up on his first try. They're taken away at Fairbrother with the ball. Back to 
goes down the defensive zone to Marara. Marara looking for a way out. Long ball downfield. 11 seconds to go now in the third quarter. Got it to Irvine, but Gary Heal booted that one off the top of the glass and broke it up. Four seconds. Three, two. Heal with the ball. Right side, Thompson. One. There is the horn to end the third quarter. We are at the end of three here at Wichita. At the Kansas Coliseum with a score tied, the Tacoma Stars four and the Wichita Wings four in our major soccer league game tonight. And we will be back for the fourth period of play after we take a two-minute break, a two-minute timeout on your Tacoma Stars soccer simulcast. Freddie forward, Burns sliding to the ball, couldn't get it away. Thompson over the red line, right side Redwanski, heading down in the right-hand corner, trying to bring that ball back out of there again. Back out into midfield to Nicky Wriston. Ristick backs up, draws it back out on the right side to Thompson. Thompson got by a man in midfield, Pete Gomez. Now takes the ball out toward the middle of the field. Left side to Milano, racing up for a shot. Blocked by Brown. Medved right on the doorstep, but Brown held on to the ball. And that time, Scotty didn't allow the rebound. He held on to it. Brown's playing a lot better since the first. He had a little shaky start, but now he's starting to come on. Gain some confidence. He's playing well. Ball down into the Stars and picked up back there now by Tacoma. Nicky Ristick on the ball, sends the long crossfield pass, headed on through by Carpenter, chested down at the defense by Morera. And Chico Morera on the ball out to David Byrne for Wichita on the left side. Across to the right-hand side, it goes down to Dale Irvine. Irvine coming forward over the red line, Ned Ned running with him, a shot, score! He hit the underside of the goal post and it went in. The underside of the crossbar. for the Wichita Wings. One minute and 17 seconds in. What a drive from out on the right wing. Here's the Irvine take the ball inside the red line. Anytime you get Irvine inside the red line, you're asking for trouble. He takes a shot, just past Medved, up over the top of a car and back into the back of the net. That ball had absolutely no rotation on it as it went in. It was a knuckle ball, except he hit it about 95 miles an hour. And drove it. It hit the underside of the crossbar and into the back of the net. And Wichita leads it five to drive, blocked by Byrne. And that one went over the boards, and it found an exit and went out of here. If that one upstairs earlier went downtown Wichita, that one went to Salina. Or maybe Denver. Baltimore and St. Louis are tied 2-2 in the fourth quarter of their game at St. Louis. That's where the Stars go next. They'll play their Sunday afternoon. Dallas leading Cleveland, cooling off the crunch tonight, 4-3 in the fourth period. The crunch has been red hot, leading the Eastern Division now. And Dallas last in the West, so that's a bit of a surprise, even with the game being played in Dallas. Maybe Cleveland's just coming back to reality. Milano, the restart, to heel down in the left-hand corner for the Stars. Gary trying to work it in off the boards to Radwanski, who scored! Radwanski in front got the left instep to that ball and put it in. Radwanski scores. Well, they Tacoma the stars, and we are tied again at 5-5. Five to five. Gary Heal made the play, he stayed with the ball along the board, Scott. He just stayed right on it. Just punched it up across the board. Eddie was able to get his leg around number 14. Fair just punched it past the point. So the score comes at the 3.29 mark of the final period. This one shows no signs of scoring pace of beating. We're at 5-5 now with 11.30 to go in regulation time. Here's the ball kicked in by Wichita. Knocked away by Wriston. Got in the midfield now. Taken by Milano. Milano going to retreat. His pass intercepted. Here's a shot and a score! the score, Irvine's 45th of the year. Irvine stole the ball out front. Milano tried to pass across in front under pressure. Ball intercepted. Irvine just outside the restraining arc. Made no mistake, low and hard to Vaccaro's left. And that one came at a 3.46 mark. Here's the ball in play, the Stars again, 6-5, Wichita back on top by a goal, downfield for Carpen, intercepted. Ball intercepted. Here's the ball in play, left side it goes to Gary Heal, slide tackle by Rowe, that was an excellent defensive move. Ball knocked down the field, Rowe running after, but Ristic gets there first. 
Back to Vaccaro. Vaccaro drives it downfield for Gary Heal. Up with the right boot to stop it. Back heel to Milano. Shot! Score! Willie Milano from Gary Heal, and we're tied again. Milano scores for the Tacoma Stars. Gary Heal will get the assist, his second of the period on that one. And that goal Here's comes Heel's at 11-17. Heal takes the pass from inside, just chops it with his back down on foot. Milano comes on the backside, uncontested pass around for the goal. Smith trying to get back to that ball, spread eagled for it, but could not get there. And we stare overtime in the face here. The last Stars game went three overtimes. Stars beating Baltimore 57 seconds of the third overtime period. And I might point out here, the Stars might not mind getting this into OT. They are 6-0 and oh in overtime games so far this year. Wichita perhaps aware of that, not wanting to get to it. Back to McCarl. Vaccaro drives it into midfield, headed back by Rowe, taken by Omar Gomez over to the right side, intercepted by Ristic. Ristic to Dick McCormick. 48 seconds to go in regulation time. Tight, 6-6. Six, six. Ball up the field to Gary Heal over the red line. Takes it along the line with him. Over to the boards. Down goes Gary Heal. Upset with no call. And Wichita with the ball again. Out of midfield and Megson got it. 34 seconds to go. Megson lost the ball ahead of him. Taken by Hunyak. Here comes Hunyak, right back for Wichita, to Gomez on the midfield strike. Over to the right-hand side it goes. On the right side, Morella. Chico being challenged there by Ristic. 20 seconds to go in regulation time and a 6-6 tie. Ristic sends it on back to Vaccaro. Stars might have time for one shot. Here's Vaccaro out of the penalty area. Vaccaro at the red line. Up the left side it goes to McCormick. Quick turn at midfield. Seven seconds to go. Along the boards to Medved. Knocked away and nobody's going to get a shot. Three, two, one ball. Kicked way down the field by Hunyak. Goes over the glass from 165 feet away. And we will go overtime. So at the end of regulation time, we have an overtime coming. The score is tied. Tacoma, six. Wichita, six. The Stars are 6-0 and oh in overtime games this year. And right here, we will take a two-minute break, a two-minute timeout in your Tacoma Stars soccer simul overtime. And we are ready. Warhol, long ball forward, headed back by Ristic, kicked right back in by Byrne to Irvine in the left corner. Dale Irvine on the ball, two fourth quarter goals to keep his team in and for a while on top of the game. Warhol tries to take it through, back it goes to the goalkeeper, the car down, ball comes out of the box, taken by Dick McCormick. McCormick tries to clear it, Irvine blocked it. Byrne tried to get to it, slide tackle, knocked it away, Nicky Ristic. Ristic to Redwanski. Midfield on the run, Redwanski, red line got it through, Thompson shot, score! Freddie Thompson from Radwanski, and the Stars win 7-6. to six. The Stars score it. Freddie Thompson gets the goal in overtime, and Eddie Radwanski gets the assist, and it came at 13 minutes and 50 seconds. Scotty, a good one. Radwanski picks it up, puts it right through the legs. Over to Thompson. Thompson all alone puts it past Cliff Brown for the game-winning goal. Thompson's second game, overtime game-winning goal of the season. What a beauty it was. They went through the legs of Beck that time. They nutmegged him out in front at the top of the penalty arc. Got the ball to Thompson racing in. And he came in at the right post from the attacker's standpoint. It went across to the far post, the open side. And Freddie Thompson scores for the Tacoma Stars. 13.50 of the overtime. Stars win it in overtime, 7-6. to six. We will be back after a break. Here on both radio and television, let's take time out on your Tacoma Stars soccer simulcast. 